So it gives people real insight into the entire lifestyle, not just a little snippet here and there. I'm not trying to necessarily sell anybody on trucking, but I hope that because I love what I do so much, I hope that the experience of it will bring new people into the industry. Starting off, tell me what we're doing here today. Uh, yeah, we're here at Mid-America Trucking Show 2024 and we're celebrating our newest inductee to the Howes Hall of Fame. Now for those who aren't familiar, what is the Howes Hall of Fame and how do people get inducted? We uh, started the Howes Hall of Fame back in 2020 and uh, it was celebrating our 100 year anniversary and we wanted to have a way to give back to the industries that have made us uh, what we are now. So we started the Howes Hall of Fame in order to celebrate the people, places, and things of the trucking and farming industries. Do people get nominated or? Uh, we have both uh, nominations come in from people within the industry and nominations come in from our partners and internally in our company as well. Talk to me about this year's uh, nominee and inductee. Uh, here we're celebrating Trucker Josh as our newest inductee and he is going to share the life of the trucker with everybody, or does, I should say, uh, for the past 13 years now. Yeah, um, Over 3,000 videos where he has been able to paint a picture of what it's like to be a trucker, what it's like to have a family, uh, and be able to juggle both things, which is not an easy thing to do, um, and share tips and tricks on uh, the everyday uh, goings on, I should say, of, uh, of trucking. Josh, congratulations. How does it feel to be inducted? I'm honored. I am uh, absolutely honored to be here with uh, Rob and the team here. It's been an amazing experience so far and uh, uh, it's been great. Tell me a little bit about what it is you do. So online, I share my life every day as a truck driver. I'm international, so I'm based in Canada, but I travel to the US back and forth and I share every day everything about the life. Uh, it's a daily vlog, so from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, every day. So it gives people real insight into the entire lifestyle, not just a little snippet here and there. I'm not trying to necessarily sell anybody on trucking, but I hope that because I love what I do so much, I hope that the experience of it will bring new people into the industry. When you started doing these videos, what was the goal and did you expect it to land you where you are today? I absolutely did not expect it to land me at a table with Rob House. No, this uh, was outside of my imagination at the beginning. So I started off in 2011 and I wanted to show people what the life was like because there's so many misconceptions, there's a, a lot of stereotypes that go along with being a trucker that people who don't grow up in this industry, like I did, they have no idea because a trucker lives a very solitary lifestyle so it's hard for people to see the inside. Uh, from an inside perspective. Uh, so I wanted to show them back home. Started off with just my friends. I wanted to show them how great of a time I was having. I was loving what I, what I was doing. I still love it. And then more people started watching and I realized these people weren't my family members. I was like, these were new random people watching me every day. And so I kept making more and more videos and more and more people kept joining the channel. And it just sort of snowballed from there. And uh, opportunity after opportunity sort of presented itself as the channel's grown. And uh, here we are today, sitting at the table. Wow. Now you say you grew up in a trucking family? I did, yep. My dad was a trucker my whole life. So on my summers uh, between school, I would go on the road with him. Whereas a lot of my friends, they would go, you know, to the parks or to their friend's house, enjoy their summers. I would go on the road and spend it trucking. So since I was eight years old, this is what I knew that I was going to do. And here I am today. I've been driving 17 years. What is it, what is it you haul? I haul open deck right now, so flatbed, anything we can put on there that's legal. Uh, we do oversize, uh, anything you can put and tie down to the deck, that's what we haul. And what has it been like? You said, you know, you started in 2011, your channel. Um, it's grown over the years. I assume you run into people who recognize you now. What has that been like? Uh, it's interesting. I really enjoy meeting the people who watch my videos because it's a very one-sided relationship. Uh, I make videos online, I post them online, and then I see a little number ticker of views that come in. I don't actually get to see the faces of the people watching. So when they come up to me at a truck stop randomly and say, hey, Trucker Josh, and they come and shake my hand, I love meeting the people. I feel like they're almost a little part of my extended family. I call this our, our YouTube family online. 
and uh, it, it's it sort of makes my day every time that happens that uh, I've been able to inspire people and uh, brighten their day because that, that's what I want to do I want to make their day better there's enough things out there that can bring people down I want to be someone who can lift people up what would you say some of the misconceptions are when it comes to trucking that you're trying to change a lot of it just comes from innocent ignorance I think uh, people see truckers or they they almost look down on truckers as a, a, a lower, uh, what would I say, a lower career, I guess. They are dehumanized sometimes on the road. You know, we're big, we're heavy, we're slow, we're in everybody's way, and we know that. I wanted to show everybody that there's a person, a human being behind the wheel of that truck who's got a family at home, who's, uh, sorry. I wanted to show everybody that there's a human being behind the wheel of that truck who's got a family at home, who's got a story. And I wanted to share that story to help people who maybe don't know and who didn't grow up around trucks uh, realize the lifestyle. And um, you mentioned, do you talk about your family on your channel and kind of the struggles that, that come with that? Yeah, yeah, I include everything. Uh, home time as well. Uh, I think it's important to tell people when they get into this. It's very exciting. There's also a whole different aspect to it at home. If you're married, if you have kids, you have to have a strong wife and partner at home. Uh, my wife is at home, she, we have a one-year-old, he's turning one tomorrow. And I can't imagine uh, how difficult it is for to be at home alone, taking care of everything, taking care of the whole house while you're on the road. Uh, sorry, what is, that's okay. What does it mean to get this honor to get inducted to the, to the Hall of Fame? It means a lot to me. It, it, to me, it means that my focus, what I've had over all of these years, has followed through into my work. That I've wanted to be a positive influence in the trucking industry, to lift people up, show the positive side of it, maybe teach a few things along the way, and to be inducted into the Hall of Fame here. Uh, I'm humbled and honored that uh, they recognized uh, the work I've done over the past years, and uh, it, it does mean a lot to me. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you.